Hi, this is Fred from Obedia, and today we're going to take a look at Reason, starting it up for the first time, getting our audio interface working, and our MIDI keyboard. I'm going to boot up Reason, and the first thing you see usually is the demo song. So I'm going to just move this cursor out here and play a little bit. And I don't hear anything. I see lots of flashing lights, but nothing. Let's have a look. Under Edit, choose Preferences, and from the Page area, click and choose the Audio Page. Ah, no sound. This is where you pick your sound card that you've got installed. It could be an interface. Uh, I'm going to click on that list. Now I've got a few things installed here, but my card is a Lynx 2, and I'm going to choose the ASIO Lynx 2 driver. Then I'll close that, and let's see if we hear anything. I'll just hit play. Okay, there we go. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do is set up a MIDI keyboard. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to get rid of the demo song here, so uh, I know exactly what's going on. So I'm going to go up to File, and I'm going to click on New. And depending on how you have Reason set up, uh, you'll either see a blank rack or a rack with a few instruments in it. That's up to you, and we can get into that later. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is actually go back up here and close this demo song. And I'm going to load an instrument right here using the tool window. I'm going to create an NNXT sampler. And there it is right there. And by default, it loads a piano sound. Now, I have a MIDI keyboard right here that I know is connected to this computer. Yet, I hear nothing. Now, I'm going to prove to myself and to you that there is a MIDI keyboard connected to this computer. There's two ways of doing that. First way, have a look at the device manager open up my sound, video, and game controllers, and I know that I've got a Yamaha keyboard connected via USB to this computer, and there's the driver that sort of proves that I've got a keyboard connected to the computer via USB, but an even better way of doing that is by using this little utility here called MIDIOX. And if you're interested in figuring this out, uh, have a look at our MIDIOX tutorial. Now, I can see my Yamaha motif here, and I'm going to hit some keys. Okay, I know that's working. So I'm going to quit MIDIOX, and I'm going to go back to Reason. Now, the reason I did that is I'm going to go back here to Preferences, and I'm going to go to the keyboards and control surfaces where you set up your MIDI keyboard. I'm going to click on that. And then they get this cool little button here, Auto Detect Surfaces. So I'm going to click on that. And we can see Reason churning away here, looking for stuff. Unfortunately, it doesn't see my Yamaha motif. No keyboards and control surfaces were auto-detected. So I'm going to click OK, and I'm just going to add one manually. Manufacturer, none selected. This completely does not matter. So I'm just going to click Other. This is the most important part right here, MIDI input. I'm going to click on that, and look at that. There's my uh, motif which I know is connected via USB. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to close this. And... There we go. That's the basic setup procedures for Reason. Thanks for watching.